everybody. Welcome back to Said Shed. Can you play my bass lick? All right. Uh, our special guest today um, is Steve Armstrong. Uh, he plays. He played for Bad Manners. Uh, obviously, a lot of you know Bad Manners and Scar, uh, and also he did for uh, the Selector. Remember them, my radio and all that. Um, and he played a band called Special Beat as well. Um, and now he's playing for Neville Staple, you know, um, from from the specials. Um, he's playing for him now, he is. Um, obviously, you know, he's waiting to get stuck, stuck in again and I'm going to go again, like, you know. But he was kind enough to lend his services to give us a little insight of what gear and what um, stuff he strings and basses he uses, and a little bit about him. Like, you know, he's a top bloke, Steve, is like, you know. Yeah, he gets great gigs and plays ma massive venues as well. He do like, you know, he's a top man. And he, he was on your. Um, the beginning when we do um said Jed Beast Quiz for fun, he was on the, when we first started that I think he's one of the first one of the first on that he was fair play to him, right? You know, he likes to get involved like the rest of us, like you know. But Steve, hey, thanks for coming on. You, you know you're a you're a, you're a top bloke. Uh well appreciated, like you know, and thanks for giving us a rundown of your gear and, and showing us uh, a couple of your bass licks you like to warm up with as well, like you know. Thanks Steve, so over to you, bud. Hi everybody. Um Thanks to Seb for inviting me back on his show again to show something about my bass gear and play a couple of little licks. Uh, bass I use probably the standard jazz bass. Uh, I prefer using this because I really like the neck on it. It's nice and thin, easy to work with. Um, I tend to use different gauges of strings depending on what I'm playing at different stage. Um, for the ska and reggae stuff, I tend to use these, the right of sounds. 77s flat wound and that's what I've actually got on this bass at the moment. Um, if I'm playing with a plectrum or playing something more rocky punky stuff I'd use the wound version of the same really, Rotor Sound 40s and RB 40s so I'd use them for like I said plectrum stuff. Um, bass rig at the moment I'm using a little bass, a little little mark, that's it, little mark, mini mark, whatever they call it, 800 watt head and two 1x15 cabs, uh, two 1x15s are great for the sound I'm using with Scar band, it's like a... sound um, right some licks Ooh. see if I can remember anything Disco. Uh, so there you have it. Um, hope you enjoyed my legs. They're not hard to play, so I'll see you soon. Louis Arvin Shedheads, thanks very much to you for sending them, uh, them great legs across. There's some great licks for our shade of a little cracker, like that one that goes up the neck a bit, like that's a bit of a, a finger twister that one, isn't it? <laughs> I think I'll, I'll leave that one to the experts to realize a bit, it is a great deal, and the, the disco one's quite quite a fast one as well, isn't it? But look, um, shade heads, have a crack, you know, and thanks Steve for giving us a rendering of your gear as well, so we can see, we can actually see a, a little insight to what you, you were up to and what you're doing as well, like, you know. Um, it's much appreciated, and a bit of luck when you, you were down, you were Neville Staple in Cardiff, um, I'll catch you for a beer, you know. I bet I like we share the same stage one day. We'll have a we'll have a bit of a party, and I should imagine won't we? Because we're both into the same sort of scene, like you know, you're on a scar scene and I'm on the mod skate scene, and I always run hand in hand together, like today. So oh, we never know, we never know your luck. Could be a party happening very soon. Steve, thanks very much for getting involved, and I'll um, I'll catch you for that beer soon. Thanks. <laughs>